Hello and welcome to another episode of What the Fuck? Moments in Manga and Anime After Dark. Let's talk about Volume 1 of Healer or the Shadow Hero. And it's actually a 17 plus, so, uh, you know, whatever. If you were here when I talked about this little 17 plus, uh, and you were thinking, yeah, it's a little too red flag for me, this one's probably gonna be more your speed. Because in this one, our main couple is a pair of cutie patooties. Let's start with Nana. She lost her family and everything she had to war as a child. She was then taken in by a rich family to be a servant. Despite everything she's been through, Nana is a very kind and caring person, even though that rich family treats her like trash. Especially the daughter, Isabella, who is the absolute worst. She'd be stomping on our little Mary Sue Nana like she's a doormat. Especially when a group of VIP high-ranking hotties within the city come looking for Nana. Now, this family has reasons <laughs> to keep Nana a secret. So uh, Nana's just kind of in the dark for all of this when she is unceremoniously kidnapped in the middle of the night by this guy. I assume it's pronounced Louis, but it's just spelled like he has millennial parents. Anyway, Louis is our shadow hero. And Louis has a gift where he's able to manipulate and fade in and out of shadows. He's also kind of suffering from some kind of curse. So they called on Nana, who also has a gift. That's right, she's a healer. And oh, we have reaching into the bag of tropes for this one because her healing ability activates for the first man that she sleeps with. And other than it being very specifically having to be a man that she uses this on, we don't really know much else about it. Because obviously there's no way to really test that. Spicy healing abilities are nothing new. <laughs> Blackbird, Bean Counter, just to name a couple. Obviously I'm not mad. But anyway, Louis has these wingmen that are really hustling to try to sell Nana on using her healing ability on Louis. At first she's just like, hell no. I don't even know that guy. Or does she? In the end, Nana agrees to this. And you want to know how? So one of Louis' wingmen wrote a book that Nana is obsessed with. That is basically a fan fiction based off of Louis' escapades during the war. Where he became the shadow hero. And oh yeah, he saved Nana once. So at that point, she's just like, you son of a bitch, I'm in. I mean, you know, if you gotta give your very rare, very important healing ability to somebody with very specific stipulations, you know, why not be the guy that saved your life once? She's absolutely elated. Anyway, so, you know, Louis rocking some very bold eyeliner, but he's actually a really shy boy. And after they get to it, he is absolutely melating the shit out of her. He knows what she did is very significant. So he wants to ensure that she does not regret such a hasty decision. He wants to be worthy of such power. And you know, Nana wasn't really looking for love in this situation. But our boy immediately starts jumping to proposals in marriage. He even calls out that rich family that she worked for and absolutely rips them a new one. The dad is like melting into the couch. He's so embarrassed. And the daughter, she didn't get she didn't get she didn't get the message that uh, you know you're not supposed to be absolute shit to people who have something on you. <laughs> Stupid bitch. And dad's like, shut the fuck up. We're gonna end up in a pit if you don't shut. Anyway, these two are looking forward to starting their little quaint whatever the hell they got going on next. So, of course, before Nana fed this sickly little stray cat that she knew he was going to come back for more. You know, she's totally fine with it. Uh, she just, you know, it, she's kind of pumping the brakes on this relationship. Like I said, she wasn't really looking for love, but, you know, she's kind of smitten. And he absolutely is, too. But at first he's very, yeah, I, I need to propose to you because that's just what we do. But she wants him to wait for his proposal to come from a very sincere place. You know, not, not just because he feels he has to. So they're going to start building a quaint little life together. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure in Volume 2 things can go pear-shaped, but uh, Volume 1 was very ch spicy little Cinderella story. We love that, right? 